what's going on with the animals? In specific, the sharks. In the summer of 2015, over a span of just a few weeks, we've seen so far nine different attacks, all consolidated around the coasts of the Carolinas in America. This is unprecedented. We've never seen something like this before. On one hand, they're trying to tell us it's the drought that's causing it. But on the other, they're trying to tell us it's simply because there's more people in the water. And that's all, folks, right? Nothing to see here. Everything's cool. It's just the fact that there's more people in the water. That's why the attacks are increasing. Uh, no, 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 wait. Actually, it's got to be the drought. Uh, that's what's causing it, right? So nothing to see here, folks. Problem solved. Enjoy your summer. <laughs> So basically you generalize the points, so then you can easily disagree. And yeah, generalization of this kind. And suggesting, oh, there's these explanations, but they can't possibly be it because you don't actually go into details. Uh, yeah, that's a fallacy. And now it's time for you to assert what you believe has happened. Well, I completely disagree. There's something more going on here. It's not just the sharks that are attacking more. There's a lot of other animals acting up as well, specifically here in the summer of 2015. Let's take a look at a few things, because I believe there's a lesson to be learned here. What exactly that is just yet, I'm not entirely sure. But there's more going on in the summer of 2015 than just an increase of shark attacks. And I certainly don't believe that it has to do with the drought, or the fact there's more people in the water. That same argument is used time and time again when you try to show people the times we're in right now and how wickedness is certainly on the increase all around the world. But then a lot of people just say, ah, no, no, you're wrong. See, I mean, there's, it, there's not anything going on. There's not an increase in wickedness in the world. We're not in any kind of end times or anything like this. Of course! Numerous scientific organizations have said why this is happening. And there are a series of factors that have led to the increase in shark attacks. The reason why experts have said the drought is a factor is because if you have a drought, you have less water going downriver and then into the sea. So what typically happens is you have fresh water going into the sea, making some parts of the coast slightly more fresh in terms of the water. This can be unpleasant for a great many, well, sea creatures, including sharks. So when there's droughts, there isn't that factor, and so sea creatures come close to the coast. If you include the obvious factor of population increase, more people living on the coast, more people in the sea, more people involved in water sports, you're going to see more contact between humans and sharks. It's also plausible that the heat wave has had an effect on the food chain. Due to the heat wave, there's been an increase in plankton and jellyfish. The turtles feed on jellyfish, and the fish, they feed on plankton. The sharks eat the fish and they eat the turtles. So there's an increase in the number of sharks and those creatures they feed on. And so, the idea of them coming close to the coast isn't unexpected. There are 72 unprovoked shark attacks in 2014. That was a five-year low. Out of those 72 unprovoked shark attacks across the world in 2014, 52 happened in the United States, and there were only three deaths, two in Australia, one in South Africa. There's not an increase in wickedness in the world, we're not in any kind of end times or anything like this. No! It's just the fact we have the internet now, we have computers, so you know, people are reporting more about this stuff. We just didn't hear about it back in the day. Everything's cool, relax. Well, of course I disagree. Oh really? He disagrees with his straw man argument, because that's why he created it. A straw man he can knock down with ease, rather than dealing with the actual facts. And then he can simply assert his view of the world as if it means something more than faith. For the rest of the video, you make some tenuous connections. You promote the idea of a orchestrated reality. Illuminati magic 
and reality control, and there's a whole load of word salad. And naturally you see this through the filter of your end times Christian belief. And today's shout out is for Jeff.